Fusion is the process that powers the sun and stars. It works by combining light elements into heavier ones and releasing energy. If we recreate those processes on Earth, we can produce limitless electricity without producing greenhouse gases. Fusion is not a chain reaction. That means we have to supply the fuel to keep it going, which makes it safer than nuclear fission reactors. To conduct fusion experiments on Earth, we have to get a gas really hot. And when you get a gas really hot, it turns into this, this soup, which is called a plasma. So a plasma is what you get if you continue to heat a gas up beyond that phase. So you go from solid liquid to gas, and if you continue to heat a gas, you then get to a plasma. On Earth, we use magnetic fields to confine that hot plasma in a device called a tokamak. A tokamak is a machine that essentially lets us make stars on Earth. Mast Upgrade is UKAEA's latest fusion machine. So Mast Upgrade is an evolution of the last tokamak that we had on site of Mast. Mast operated for 13 years. We then shut it down and it's undergone a significant overhaul. In fact, 90% of the machine is actually new. A conventional tokamak is the shape of a donut. Mast Upgrade is a spherical tokamak that has the shape of an apple with the core removed. Spherical tokamaks like Mast Upgrade are smaller and more efficient than conventional tokamaks. So these could perhaps be the key to future fusion power plants. From the engineering point of view, we have enhanced control systems and the protection system, which will be able to respond with a fraction of a millisecond in case of the excessive load on the machine. And we will be able to control the plasma shape in real time. So Mast Upgrade has three main aims, to solve the exhaust problem, to give crucial information for ITER and to help us design and build a future power plant. The exhaust problem is working out how to handle the heat that escapes from the plasma into what we call the exhaust. The exhaust area has to withstand temperatures like that of the spacecraft on re-entry to the atmosphere. We need to get it down to something more like that of a car engine and that's what the SuperX diverter is going to help us to do. The SuperX diverter works by sending the plasma around long distances. As it goes around, the plasma cools and it goes down to a temperature which normal materials can handle. It's the first machine that we've built with a SuperX diverter. It's a brand new device and we've got a large number of collaborators who are interested in taking data and understanding what that new design will mean for the future of fusion devices and how they're designed. We're going to use Mast Upgrade for physics studies for ITER, which is going to be the largest fusion device currently under construction in the south of France. So ITER is the next generation of fusion device, and Mast Upgrade will support it by providing data from experiments we do here to direct how to run that machine in the future. And because of the different shape in Mast Upgrade, it allows us to do things that other machines can't do. The energy problem is one of the biggest that humankind faces and to be putting together a low carbon solution to that is really exciting. The studies performed on Mast Upgrade will help in the design and build of a future power plant based on the spherical tokamak which is called STEP. I feel like I'm being part of something bigger for the future. That's what excites me and wakes me up in the morning. I'm excited because I want to take part in making fusion energy a reality. And seeing this new device come together is a real great achievement. I'm really excited about having to generate a new plasma inside a new machine. When you're part of the control operations team and you see what you want to see on the screen, you just feel really proud to be a part of Master Upgrade.